change the scenery in the backyard with it. We outside. It feels so good out here in Houston today. Um, it's been feeling like this like the last couple of days though. Who ain't turned my air on in the last three to four days? It feels so good. Shout out to the windows and the fresh air. Sleep with your window open season. Period. Love it. Yes. Today, dating in the last two years, twin dating in 2020, because how was 2019 for you though? It was good also. But I just feel like I feel like it's getting better. Let me not lie. I don't really don't know. Like it's it's really up in the air. My love life is up in the air. It'd be like days I'd be like, yeah, I'm ready. And then somebody come along, I'd be like, God, I ain't ready. So how do you date? What is your definition of dating? <sighs> okay, someone asked me that. And it was like, I wasn't trying to be vague, but like really just getting to know a man or men. Because dating is like dating multiples or just dating one? You don't date multiples. You don't know how to I don't know it. how to do it. Like, I honestly don't know how to do it. Like, <laughs> like ooh, there go a basket. Here go all my eggs. <laughs> Here, take them. I want my eggs cracked. You do that. I am so guilty of that. It's so difficult because, like, I, I'm simple. Like, I really am a simple girl. So, like, they eat a lot of guys. I'm like, I've been to call somebody the wrong name. I've been to messed up something. Oh I, it's not even that deep. But you gotta date a bunch of guys. You just gotta, I mean, like at least keep a solid three on the roster. I'm being generous. That's nice. Three. A solid five. Five? Five. Now, the other, okay, so three you talking to on the regular. Two is every blue moon if they just like, yeah, you can throw them in rotation for okay. days. Okay. But three, yeah, because you know, three you can try to figure schedule. Well, I had, I had, I had, I had three separately separately but they simultaneously came after each other but i wouldn't even say three i'm gonna say a solid two and that third one is the one you come out if you can if you want to chop it up every once in a while yeah exactly that's just but, somebody to throw in the mix like but uh, okay out of the three i can tell you honestly they all talk about the same thing like well minus one of them two out of the three they really didn't want like no relationship they they said they weren't ready for nothing serious. And one trying to get his life together, so he think he wants something serious. I don't know what to, what you want me to do with that. And right, I just feel, and I just feel like, no offense, but men, not, the men that I've been, they been jumping in them feelings. Like they in there, like they in the feelings with. I don't, and I'm not trying to say I'm feeling. I don't have feelings, or I, I lack feeling like. I guess I don't allow myself to get attached to something that I know is only temporary. Cause they too wish you was. Yeah, that's the thing. Like they like sometimes in their feelings, it's not an all the time. Yeah, it's not an all the time thing. And then like with me, I'm just like this stuff's still fresh. I don't even know why you jumping in your feelings. Like, but see, that's the thing. My definition of dating and talking and all of that stuff is totally different. I, first of all, let me just be clear. I am not a dating guru. I ain't got all the answers because I didn't fail plenty of times in the past. I'm still failing. <laughs> I don't know yet. This is just that period where you got a person in your life. You got a man. I got a man right now. So because I got a man right now, I can't say if it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'm just saying I date differently. So talking to me is just talking. Literally, when we say we talk. We text me on the phone, but maybe here and there I might see like every blue moon I might see. That's just talking. That is, or it might not even get to the point where we hang out like that. That's just talking to me. Now, if we get to the point where we actually go on dates and we're that's continuously dating. no, but you don't take me on one date and then we start kicking it at the house. That's not dating. Mm -hmm. That's just you just chilling with a person. Yeah. But if you you continuously go on dates and then that's another thing. Do not give me. Stop taking people back to their house. Like, don't confuse dating with that. Just chill with all of that. But it's different steps. It's talking and it's dating. And I think a lot of people think that the talking phase, dating phase, nah, is, is the not. talking phase is just to see if you even want to date that person. Yeah. Like, I'm not about to be investing my time and money because dating, like, some dates are free and some dates it's require enough. money. So, like, I'm not about to be investing my time, my money, and energy into. A person, a person I don't think it's gonna that make it I don't past feel like the second date. Exactly. And then that's another thing. It's the energy. Like it's so that's why I feel like I can't date multiple men at one time. It's because it's too many different energies. And it's draining to me. Because like I said, I've been coming up
across different men with different emotions and different feelings and it's draining like i'm like you putting too much on me and i don't know if it's because i've been off the dating scene for a while and i have to like you know you gotta build your way up to that but like, see that's the thing it's the type of people that you date that's draining what you looking at don't do that you looked over there so I, I maybe look, look over there no but also like you gotta it, the type of people that you date or even give your time if they're draining your energy then that's a problem that should be a red flag for you right there because they're draining your energy mm -hmm. nobody should, it, you shouldn't be in a situation friends family or anything where they drain your energy mm -hmm. if you feel like they're draining your energy they, too much that, that's too much you shouldn't even be talking or you know giving your time to that person in the first place they should be adding to your energy or at least keeping your energy at bay keeping it at peace it's no reason to like throw my energy, energy off you don't, you don't throw my energy off definitely yeah. don't throw my energy off but like if you dated multiple here's the thing i've always dated multiple people i've never been one person to throw all my eggs in one basket for the simple fact that i know how flaky dudes are they can really and dudes not dudes so. myself too because i'm so picky i can like a person for like Whew. a week a week i could be so i can like you so much for a week and then the next week like i'm good you breathing and it's bothering me now I gotta text my homegirl and tell her that you bother me because you're breathing and you exist. So it's like I know how finicky it can be. So it's like I and I never wanted to get my hopes up on one person and then it falls short when you could be giving your time to someone, to else. someone else. So it's like you just gotta and you don't spread yourself too thin. It's not like you go on three dates in one week mm -hmm. and be like call that like. But when I say like the energy like. Cause one minute you think stuff is really going good, and you getting good vibes, and you getting all that, and then the next week it's flatline. I'm, in my mind, I'm like, what happened from here and last week? Like, let's let's talk about it. Cause that's me. I like to communicate. Let's talk about what happened from last week and this week to make you change your whole mood and change. Like, like that mood change. That stuff is real. See, that's why. But that's exactly. That's the reason why I don't put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah. Initially, in a dating process, yeah. but in a relationship, that's some that's totally different. You ask everybody out, right. but in a dating process, yeah, that's why I got it because of reasons like that. People might just like you get turned off by a dude, dudes get turned off by us, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'll be like, what I do, like what I do, and and dudes having grasped, not dudes, some some dudes having grabbed the concept of just explaining would turn them off and you can still walk away from the situation after that as long as you just tell the person hey look you did this and i didn't really feel that or you know the way you move this way i don't like that and it's nothing against you but i don't stop you just did it again so now i'm gonna think something touching nothing you. touching you nothing. crazy lady Girl, the one person that wanted to shoot outside is the most paranoid person to shoot outside because a bug crawled on me yesterday when i was cleaning up out here Girl, two of them crawled on me already. He said you flinch, move, or anything. I politely pinched it off me. Okay, anyway. How, well, listen. Uh, yeah, the, the dating and I'm not giving up on it. It's just like, it's new. I, I guess it's new for me because now I can honestly say this year it's been really consistent with men coming into my life. I can honestly say that the type of men that I'm allowing it's just been, it's been new. Like, it be droughts for me. Would you say you've dated the most this year? Yeah, like, well, show interest in most in men this year, yes, this is a lot. Because I feel like it was so back-to-back. -back. Most of the time, it'd be a spurt. It'd be like, oh, three, four months here, oh, somebody might ring my line, nothing serious. And then another three to four months, I don't go outside. I don't even remember the last time I consistently, like, dated multiple people or talked to multiple people. Because, because not even, we, look, when it's, and it's going outside. We went outside like that, but I wasn't even. I really, I was still, you know, playing games. Stop playing. Yeah, I was still playing games in nineteen. I was still holding on and stuff. So it wasn't. I still. Let's talk about that. When to let go? When let, let it go. go? Let go. When do you let go and date? Like, because I know relationships. And dating okay, because I'm real. I'm real quick to let go because like I don't like things to disturb my peace so if anything is disturbing my peace or if it just got me feeling some type of way and i just don't like that feeling and i expressed it to you i'm i'm, I'm expressing and move on like i ain't about to keep yeah. 
telling you. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I let go so quick. I'm, I'm telling you, like, we can be talking one week and next week, no beef. I have no problem with you, but you probably won't hear from me. I act like you never existed. And it's no bad blood because I'll speak to you again if I see you. But just in general, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Nothing. So, and I'm, and I'm working real hard because um, it's so easy for me to turn away and just keep it pushing. Be like, whatever. I'm really working on it. So, like, it's not like I'm really putting the best foot forward. Like, to not, to not do that. Because I'm good at doing it and I can do it real, like, I can do it and be fine. Yeah. It's now I need to be like, well, can I actually stick around? What is it? Is it that? Did that really just bother you that bad? Yeah, that bad. First of all, I ain't been in a real relationship in a long time, like a real one in a long time. Me so either. communication, I had to figure. I I'm still trying to figure out that, like, when we have a disagreement, when I get so frustrated, I just be. I have to just like my normal self is to walk away and no just walk away like stop it. it's just to like okay let me be quiet for a second because i need to process my thoughts because i don't like saying stuff out of anger because i can't take it back and i've i i have had a very bad temper in the past and i've managed that because i've managed it by being alone mm -hmm. because i haven't had to have those type of conversations but now that i'm in a relationship i have to like sorry, you gotta just give me up. just give me a couple minutes to like process my thoughts and then I can continue the conversation. But I just I think we're doing good in that aspect because we're actually acknowledging that there is an issue. Like you, we know who we are and know how we are. I guess that's coming along with age. But like you know what your triggers is. So before the situation even gets to where it gets to, I know my triggers, and I know I'm not about to let me before it gets there. Let me just go ahead and tell you how right. I feel about it. Right. Exactly. And then yeah, you just got you got to communicate. You definitely got to. But the cutting off thing or like not wanting to talk thing, I really in the beginning of my relationship, I had to just be like, Ooh, you can't do that. And he told me, and he was like, you can't just do that. And I was like, <sighs> you're right. <laughs> you're right. I can't do that. You are so right. I can't do that. So I'm, I'm right. definitely be working on Now I just take pauses in between conversations if we, we having a disagreement because we don't really argue. I we need to learn. Girl, I'll be ready to snap because I'm such a feisty person. I don't know why I'm so feisty but I be ready I listen to respond instead of listening to understand and I be like I'll get off the phone like I catch myself doing it as soon as I get off the phone with the person I be like you did it again like it happened with my mom like she was telling me something but I was so ready I was listening so to respond to her I'm so proud of you and when we get up do that yes and I had I had to call her back and I was like mama I apologize you right like i was listening to respond to her i wasn't listening for understanding purposes on, on her so on her and that's the thing side. you you have to when dealing with the uh, another person as far as communicating you have to literally listen to what they're saying and then you can process your thoughts and theirs their opinion and and then express yourself right because that initial thought to just blurt out is is anger or it's, it is just your, to prove a yeah, point you be so quick and, to ready you could still be wrong yeah you could definitely still be wrong in that process so that it's is like because so a lot of time that's that's who i am i know that i know that's who i am i be really quick. i i'm quick to respond i'm not i'm not listening to a person to understand where they're coming from or whatever the case might be. Nine times out of ten, I'm listening to respond. So like, but it's I don't like that people to do that to me. So I, I think really I figured that. that I figured that out a while back because I don't like when people do that to me. But yeah, and I, I, you know, being quick to cut somebody off, it just depends on, on, is it a valid reason to cut them off? Right. Now, in my opinion. You better than me, cause I thank you. Some of the situations you be so nice. No, I'm, I'm definitely way yeah. nicer. I'm way Don't nicer than her. Yeah, for sure. That's especially that's in the dating realm. I'm really nice because that's like fact. that's a big fact. I, I I have no room, no tolerance for any type of lack of energy or the bs the dryness yes, any any of that don't if you don't put as much energy into something that i'm putting forth if we're talking or dating or whatever the case i can't mess with you I, because i hate feeling like i'm giving more than the other person is giving and in certain situations and i that that's so true i hate that and i hate feel like i'm forcing something 
for you. Yeah, don't. I listen. really hate that. Like, I feel like a conversation should come so easy. It's so much to talk about in the world. Like, so meeting someone else of a different caliber, it should be easy to hold a conversation. But when the date, like, when I feel like I be forcing conversations, like, if I sit yeah, there, like, and it's, I don't like that, that, that turns me off. Like, yeah. it feels like I'm, a, now I feel like I'm a nuisance to you. Cause yeah. like, that's for sure. I'm, I'm trying to, Forcing, Force the conversation. Uh, yeah, forcing it or putting too much energy into it than the other person is putting. I have no tolerance for that. But like overall, like we're saying, it's always going to be a compromise. You just got to figure out who you want to compromise for and if that person is worth compromising for yeah. in general. Like uh, just how you how we're saying, like you know, having male friends has helped us understand. Man, I have two male best friends, and then. Buku of oh, God, friends. God friends that I that have been in my life for years. So I always get get an understanding for from them. Like when I'm having like if I have a disagreement with my boyfriend, I might bounce an idea like, hey, look, am I wrong in this situation? Or you know, I'm just trying to get for, there. Whew, I'm good for opinions. Yeah, for sure. I definitely and and me and Phil had this conversation because Phil was like, I think as a man, he said he think as a man he feel like he's more mature in relationships because of. It's me and Mina because me and Mina are his best he has friends. Friend yes, yeah, he has two female best friends, so we're able to give him our perspective and let him know you that can. ain't right. Mm-hmm. You're right, or you being like it, it, we just giving the input of the opposite sex is really helpful in certain situations. Very. So that's why I don't mind for my spouse to have female friends. But it's good to have that input because. I don't un- I don't understand the male species. I'm not gonna sit up here and say I do understand the male species all the time. It's sometimes I be having to get clarity. Like be clear. why does he think like like what man, where does mental come from? Damn men mature differently than that's a whole nother Hold on. I'm out of wine. Wait, that's a whole <laughs> Nah, but yeah, like and then the, here's the thing dating in the last couple of years like I said I haven't for real for real dated like that it's probably like since 18 18 is when I was probably like dating for real cause I like I hate that I'm 30 and I'm just not getting it popular cause 19, like. 19 2019 I really wasn't dating like that and then this year definitely wasn't dating like that I just happened to I just, I just be too around. responsible and I and just I be focusing on other stuff <laughs> My thing is, I have we have so many things going on in our life that like having a boyfriend was never like <laughs> my priority. Yeah, it was like okay, you're a plus, but like I'm not pressed for it. Yeah. That was the whole thing. Cause I never I understood like... how women had like so many boyfriends so quick, back to back, and I'd be like, that's not draining. I'd be like, that's a lot space. of energy. I love my space, but I also have so many different things going on. I work. I do full time. I go to school full time. It's like you got so many different things going on to add another human being and their issues and trying to understand. So hopefully for you, I'm not giving up on dating because God is shouldn't. God out there, He building my husband. You know, He building him from scratch and He's yes, teaching me. Yes, or yeah, you just take your take time. Yeah, take your, take time, your time and take it as a grain of salt. Uh-huh. Like if some don't work out, huh, it, just it just didn't work out. Just, it just keep it pushing. Yeah. Like don't take it so seriously that your world is about to end. Like just take it as a grain of salt. You learn, you learn a new lesson. It, it sucks, on. but keep it pushing. Yeah, life is not over. God makes it's too many men out here. It's too many women out here too. True. Too many women, too many men. So you can't just stay stuck on one person because it hurts your feelings because you really like yeah. them. And it didn't it work. It just happens. That's it, life. Exactly. So let's hope that her day in life gets better and that my it relationship is. stays. Her and her relationship going to be amazing. My day in life going to be amazing. It is. But that's all we got today. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe. Let's